Hi, this is Mike Gallagher. I am an advisory solution consultant with the IT transformation team here at ServiceNow. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully this is a screen that I'm showing that you're uh, familiar with. Um, and today we're going to be talking about deploying a mid-server in a containerized fashion in a Kubernetes deployment. And uh, I'm uh, also posting a blog post about this that will dive into some of the how and why and, and get really into the details. But I wanted to record this video to just show the process and how this is going to work. So that way, if folks want to use this video alongside the blog post, um, we can help people get containerized mid servers deployed in their Kubernetes environment. Okay. To that end, I am going to start building out this deployment. And the first thing I always like to do is to build a namespace in order to sort of cordon off the infrastructure based resources that I use within in my environment. <clears throat> Unsurprisingly, that namespace is called infra. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you um, this namespace uh, YAML file that I've built. Pretty straightforward, tells you what kind of resource we're deploying, what API version, and then the metadata around it. So I'm going to actually apply that file to my Kubernetes cluster. And in this particular case, I've already actually deployed the namespace in the past, so that was unchanged. That's one of the wonderful things about uh, the Kubernetes control app is it checks to see if anything has been changed before it actually attempts to make changes. So once that's done, we will just confirm that we have all the namespaces. And correct, I have an infra namespace here that's been active for roughly about 10 minutes. Excellent. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to, in order to securely provide the mid server with the password to log into our ServiceNow instance, we need to create a special resource called a Kubernetes secret. And this uh, will store the password in an encrypted secret file within the Kubernetes cluster that we can provide to the Kubernetes, excuse me, to the mid server container so that it can use the password to log in. So in order to do that, we're going to use this command here. So cube control create secret generic is the type of secret dash n is inside of the infra namespace and then we give it the name of mid dash server dash secret and then from a literal and secrets are are built in a key value pair right so the key for this is sn underscore password and the value is this password here so we're going to go ahead and create that oh and it complained that it already exists because i've run through this test before so now we're just going to quickly describe that. Ah, it's not found because I didn't specify that I want it in the infra namespace, right? Which is one of the great reasons why you want to put things in the right namespace um, so that you can keep segmentation of your resources. So we have the key of SN underscore password and the value is 20 bytes, but it's encrypted and it isn't going to show it here. Okay, so now that we've got that namespace created and we've got the secret created and ready for ingestion by the mid server, we're going to look at the mid server deployment. So this is a little bit more complex and we'll kind of talk through a bit of it, but um, it's, this is a deployment. Okay. And here's some metadata around it, but the name of it is which namespace it's going to go into and um, a label, right? A key value pair um, to be able to use as metadata to look for it later. So here's the spec. I want one replica of it. Um, we're going to match these labels. And then here's the container itself. And here's a big point right here. We are using a community created 
Docker image for the mid server. This is not an officially built or supported uh, container image for a mid server by ServiceNow itself. This is a community created thing. So, you know, definitely um, caveat mTOR, use at your own risk. Uh, but I, I wanted to be able to show this process, and my hope is that in the very near future, we'll be able to provide an officially created and supported um, Docker image for a mid server. So the environment that gets passed into that container is going to have all of these important variables. So host name is the ServiceNow instance, the fully qualified domain name, the ServiceNow instance for this mid server to connect to. This is the username by which it connects into that instance. And then the password variable it's going to get from that secret that we built already. And then the host name is how it's going to reference itself um, as far as the ServiceNow instance is concerned. So you'll see once we get this up and deployed and we go back into my test instance that we will have a new uh, mid server named ITX Kate's mid EKS underscore secret dot Docker, I believe is what it's called. So now that we've got that built and I've shown you that, I'm going to go ahead and apply this YAML file so that it will create that deployment. And when we do this, it's actually going to pull down that container image from Docker Hub and start to deploy it within our uh, infrastructure, within the infra namespace. So in order to show this running and get some details on what's going on, I'm going to go ahead and say get pods dash in infra. Okay, look at that. It's running. And if we want to get more detail, we can describe the pod in the infra namespace. Okay. So it's been assigned to run on a specific host. Here's the various container image. It's already there and it's created and it started. So it all seems to be up and running and working correctly. So let's go back over to my ServiceNow instance and we'll go ahead and reload this list. And you will see now that we have ITX Kate's mid EKS secret mid dot Docker. And it, the image that is out on Docker Hub is actually a Paris image. So it's pulled that down, it's deploying it, and exactly as it would with any other mid server, it's going through and it's going to go through and do the upgrade process. Since this is a Quebec instance, it'll upgrade it up to Quebec. And then I'll need to go in and validate that mid server so that it can be utilized once it's ready to go. So now you've seen start to finish how we deploy a containerized mid server as a deployment within a Kubernetes infrastructure. Um, I, I really hope you find this useful. And uh, I look forward to seeing more mid servers running in, uh, in containerized instances in the near future. Thanks and have a great day.